to their respective people who made them. So, uh, yeah, please enjoy my somewhat educational game video. This video is not sponsored by Ambutech. That's just the company where I got my canes when I bought them from. So, I'm gonna first show you how canes are hooked onto their tips, how they pretty much stay together, because they are removable. And the first way, and the way I'm most familiar with, I'm gonna show you with the disc. It normally doesn't look this way, but if you can see, there is a hook attached there. Normally the hook is inside. This disc is specifically made like this so that it can swivel around because it's made to go on uneven surfaces. The second way is a threaded tip. So it's like a bottle cap. It just threads in and you screw it on. And the good thing about doing it <laughs> I can just put it on later. The good thing about doing it this way is you still have the rest of your cane intact. The last way, and I think this one is that, is kind of similar to the way a pipe is inserted into another pipe. I believe that this is just that type where it's just inserted, which means this is very hard to come off. I don't know how you would take it off. I cannot pull this off, which I think is why I had trouble in the last video. So, since I showed you some of my tips for the second time, I will put pictures of what the other ones look like, but they come in many different types. I am currently looking at a marshmallow tip. Marshmallow tips are large tips, just like the round ones. And they can be used with the two-point touch technique. And the two-point touch technique is where, we'll say my hand is the floor. Your body is going, you're going to tap your cane from side to side on opposite parts of your body. So if I'm going to take a step this way, my cane is going to tap over here. That might be wrong. I don't really use the two-point touch technique. I don't like it. I don't like the tapping. Some do because they're listening with their ears, kind of like echolocation. And then there's the gliding technique where your cane tip never leaves the floor. It's always just side to side on the floor. This is probably a bad example. I don't want to look for more video clips. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm not sure if Ambutech is the only company that does this, but they make some cane tips. They make some cane tips that will last longer than the regular cane tip, and that was made from ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. I'm gonna move on to the bowl tip, which is the one I prefer to use. I love that one. As much as you can love a thing that rolls around on the floor. It is an actual ball. It does not look like this. This is a used one. When it starts to bow out like that, it means you have to replace them. If it starts to do that too much, because it'll get stuck in cracks even more. And that's no good. So, you'll just have to replace and get a new one. But I actually have a friend whose cane tip wore all the way down and we found out that there was a metal piece in this ball. So I don't know what this is made of, but there's a metal thing in here. So I guess it's some type of nylon material, is what I'm assuming. For people that do know, you can comment down below if anyone else is interested. There's the disc, the disc um, tip, which is this one. It's the one I showed you, it's the one I have. This is not strong. If you can hear that there's a hole somewhere in here I'm guessing it's designed so that water doesn't stay in but uh, yeah you can squeeze this and the other ones don't do that the other ones are made of a harder material there's cane tips made of acrylic sorry it's not acrylic it's ceramic 
It's made of ceramic, the same stuff that the toilets are made of. And it says here that this tip can be used for both techniques. We have a metal one, which I believe might be the smallest of the tips. Usually smaller tips are used with the two-point touch, te two touch technique. Larger tips are not. They're usually used with the gliding technique. They also have one called the jumbo. I think that might be the one I have here. They look similar. So yeah, I think this is the jumbo tip. Obviously used with the gliding method because it's rolling. And I guess they modified their thing because now they have them in colors and they have them in hook-on ones because that one's not a hook-on so I don't know. I, I bought those one uh, a couple years back so it's a little different. And then we have a pencil tip. Pencil tip is, what do you think it is? Long, pencil shaped. I know people that do love these tips. And what I like about Ambutech is they have them in different colors. Not all of their tips come in different colors. Sometimes it's just the top part, like you'll see here. It can be just this part, like a highlight. But for the pencil tip, they actually have them in all different colors. And when I was growing up, the only colors I saw were white and red. I guess for contrast purposes. Because I did ask one person why they chose to have a red tip. And that was their answer. They just liked the color. They liked it. I guess they liked that it was different or they needed the contrast. They also have the ID tip. Which is not really used for anything. It's just a tip to have on the bottom of your ID cane. Doesn't do anything. The flex tip, it is a rubber tip. And I guess they said it's made to just bounce off of objects more and that it will last longer than a traditional cane tip. I also have this cool one that I think is interesting because I think it could be used with the alternative mobility device or pre canes. Sometimes they're called pre canes, sometimes they're called alternative mobility devices. And that could be anything. Some people use shopping carts as a alternative mobility device. But uh, this is the first time I've heard of a company actually using things that look like canes as alternative devices. And all that is is a device that is used for pushing in front of you, like a stroller or a shopping cart, instead of using a cane. And I will put a clip of a toddler using a cane and using an alternative mobility device. They're going to call it a toddler cane, but that is essentially what it is. It's sort of the same concept, but the hook that I found interested, interesting is called a rover freewheel tip. I did find out Ambutech makes a light. It doesn't last very long, so I'm not sure if I should get it and try to attach it to my guide dog harness to give me a bit more visibility at night, or to give her a bit more visibility at night, even though dogs can see better than we can at night. They technically don't see better than humans, and they don't see black and white either. Dogs do have color vision. It's more like color blindness humans but yeah uh, I was thinking about getting that here we see her gait is narrow smooth steady controlled the toddler cane affords 100% forward protection long cane her gait is wide jerky unsteady uncontrolled her cane affords unreliable forward protection. Also remember, I did not cover all of the canes, cane tips, accessories, and also electronic canes and electronic accessories that a blind person may use. There's a multitude of different things out there. There's a multitude of different things being made all the time. I'm 
I'm just a person who likes learning about people's different disabilities and the accessories that are out there that can help them. And I just thought that it was an interesting topic and that other people might not have known the same information that I didn't know. So I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed my video. Sorry I don't say goodbye in any of my other ones. Kind of forget to. But this time I will. Bye. Thank you. Subscribe.